guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to go ahead and clean out the chicken coop. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and try and move one of the... We're going to try to fix up the run a little bit. So come on, I'll show you what we're doing. Alright, so this is the bump I want to get out of here. I'm just going to move it over to the back. So the first thing I wanted to do is move this big bump out of here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the shavings that are in the coop and we're going to move those and pile them up in the back so that they can compost. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so when I designed this coop, I designed it to hopefully be easily to clean. We're going to find out today. Um, all we're going to do is open up the uh, door here. Take the feeder out, give me more room. Okay, jeez. Down. And we're going to remove the two boards that are in here. And there's one more board here. Alright, so now I got a little road here. I'm gonna close the door for now. Just enough so that I can get by it. All right, now that I got the, the dog crate out, I think it's going to be easier to pull this forward, so. All 
right, so this side of the coop is pretty much done. I mean, I got a little bit further in the back there that I got to take care of. But for the most part, this side is cleared out. I'll show you that here in a minute. What I was going to do is try and bring all that this way and then come out the same door. But I made both doors the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the other door and clean that side out from that door. Odette decided she wanted to collect some eggs, so here she goes. Sorry. Got quite a bit of eggs in here, as you can see here. While we're doing this, we obviously got all the chickens free ranging out there. Hopefully they're finding some good ticks and bugs and helping to clean up our yard a little bit. How many eggs you got there, sweetheart? A lot? All right, you still got two others to empty out. Sixteen. Sixteen in that one nesting box? Oh, there's still more in there, too. Oh, God, that scared me. What? He went... Yeah, you want Daddy help? Eighteen. Nineteen. Six and we're done. We have 36 eggs today, and it looks like the thing is completely full. All right, so like I said earlier, we're going to go ahead and open up this uh, door. Now the one thing I did notice with this is we use the deep litter method and basically all you do is when you put down your shavings as the birds go on it you cover it with more shavings. It allows it to compost in the coop. Um, in the winter time it allows it to help heat, heat the coop a little bit. Um, but the negative side that I found with this is we had a dog crate in here. And by having that dog crate in here, it didn't allow the chickens to turn the, um, the shavings in this area. So this area actually got pretty nasty. I should have taken the dog crate out earlier um, so that we could have turned that. And it would have allowed it to mix up a little bit better and it wouldn't have gotten as nasty. It, did, it, it hasn't dried because the new shavings didn't get to it as well. And it wasn't turned up by the chickens. So this area has a little bit of a smell to it where the rest of it didn't before I start turning it up.
right guys, so because we're using a deep litter method, I'm not fully gonna clean this out. This looks pretty good. Um, we got a bunch of stuff right there that's still got um, some bacteria in it, the good bacteria that's gonna help break down the stuff. So this is gonna help the next load get started. So all I'm gonna do now is go in there with the shovel and break that up a little bit so that it's not all up against the walls. All right, so that should be good for the coop itself. But there's one more thing I want to do. I want to take the water in the back apart and just make sure nothing got in there over the winter. Um, I came out one day and I saw the cap flipped upside down. And I just want to make sure a squirrel or something didn't get into the water. So we're going to take that apart. And I'll post a video probably uh, later on this week on how I cleaned out the water so you guys will get a better look at that. Um, what we're going to do now is just go ahead and finish with the cleanup, and that's just throwing fresh shavings down. <laughs> Alright, so now we, we dumped the shavings in. What we're going to do is we're going to put our boards back up. Tuck them in the corner here. I'm a hidden treasure. And that's going to help hold that up. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, now we're just going to spread the shavings around a little bit. Usually we can even let the chicken see this part. Because they will just fine. Close the doors. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, As you can see here, I got all fresh bedding. Let's see if you. Oh, that's not too bad. You can see it's got fresh bedding down now. So that's good. The only thing left we got to do is clean out the nesting boxes. But I'm going to hold off on that because I need to get some, uh, some hay in order to put down the nesting boxes. Alright guys, so behind me you can see all the shavings that came out of my chicken coop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all that, let it sit out here for a couple weeks. Um, we're a little behind on our gardening this year, with this being Memorial Day. However, uh, anyway, so we bought some plants that we're going to go ahead and plant probably in about a week or two. And my plan is, most of this is old, it's been in there for a while, so it should be fine to be used. Um, so we're just going to let it sit out here for a week or two. After we plant the garden, we're going to go ahead and mulch it with this. Because this is already, there's quite a bit of good, there's quite a bit of good compost in there. So what I'll probably do is just screen it out real quick. Try to get the good stuff and then move that into the garden and mulch the garden with 
the stuff that came out of the chicken coop. That way there they'll get some good nutrients from it. Um, and by letting it sit for a week or two, it's going to go ahead and decompose a little bit further um, and get rid of some of the... Uh... Anyway, that's the plan. I uh, thank you guys for coming along. You have a great day. And I hope you all enjoyed your Memorial Day. And remember all those guys who have, have um, committed the ultimate sacrifice in support of this great nation. Have a good day, guys. Bye.